It's September. Let's admire some fungi. This choice edible is chicken of the woods. These large clusters of orange shelf mushrooms have pores on the underside rather than gills. The white pore surface is a giveaway that this specific species is Latoporus cincinnatus. This chocolate tube slime mold from the Steminitis genus is not edible despite its delicious sounding name. The woods are exploding with edible honey mushrooms as they often are at this time of year. There are several species of honey mushrooms in North America, but today I'm seeing mostly the ringless honey mushroom, Desarmillaria cespitosa. Ringless honey mushrooms are characterized by their honey to brown colored scaly caps. They have beige colored gills attached to a ringless stem, and they produce a white spore print which distinguishes them from their toxic lookalikes, including deadly gallerina, jack-o'-lanterns, and sulfur tufts. Let's pause to appreciate this eastern garter snake. Honey mushrooms are best harvested when young like this, when the caps are small and the mushrooms can be easily picked in a single springy cluster. This is what ringless honey mushrooms look like when they have matured. They grow big and stinky and buggy. Here is a pristine cluster of ringless honey mushrooms. You can see how the cluster will come up intact with minimal effort. Ringless honey mushrooms have pale, fibrous stems and those distinctive, variegated, honey brown, scaly, or hairy caps. Like almost all foraged mushrooms, honeys must be thoroughly cooked. They dehydrate well and they're great in soups and stews. Then I see some milk cap mushrooms, characterized by the milky fluid or latex they exude when damaged. These widely spaced gills, absence of staining, and lack of distinct aroma leads me to believe these are Lactifluus hygrophoroides, the hygrophorus milk cap. Please remember to forage responsibly and be absolutely certain on identification before consuming anything. You can post photos in mushroom ID groups on Facebook to help you confirm your finds. I look forward to sharing more about edible mushrooms and other foraged foods in the future. See you all next time.